have been shopping a little too much lately. <laughs> there has been so many new makeup releases and there has been other products that I have been eyeing, some of them that came back in the stock and I said, you know, like, let's set it on the shopping cart. So here I have you a little haul. Starting first with something that you have already seen on my channel, I have already reviewed my Pat McGrath Utopian Dream Palette. It's a dream. I mean, let's give it to Pat. She did an amazing job with this palette right here. I have been enjoying it so much. It's just so, so gorgeous. Yes, it's still a pinky tone. Yes, we'll still find a gold tone. Yes, um, it feels a little bit redundant, this shade right here. Go and watch my video, but this palette is amazing. I mean, the two shades that I'm just like, ah, yeah, I want this third shade right here too. Are these shades right here. I mean, like the matte shade is the matte shade, but this lilac shade steals the show. This shade right here is gorgeous too. And yeah, this is the quality that we know from Pat McGrath, her Utopian Dream Palette. I hope though that she will kind of like get a little bit away from all these, you know, like rosy tones and give us a little bit something different. But you know what? What is sell sells and at the end, you know, she has to sell. So I'm super happy for this palette right here. And right now they have it available also at Sephora. By the way, I will be leaving all the details of the products that I'm talking today on the description box below for your convenience. I also went ahead and pick up something from our darling Charlotte Tilbury, and that's her new Super Nudes collection. So I went ahead and grabbed her palette. Also, my review is already up. The lipsticks, I'm still waiting. I'm still waiting for my satin lipstick. I'm sure it's gonna arrive sometime soon. And I also picked up her, the Super Nudes Easy Eyes palette. This one right here came out last year beautiful palette if you like everything mattes you're gonna love it but the face palette is the one that everybody has been like oh when is it coming when is it coming and here it is the nude gossam palette now i have to say it's a gorgeous palette but i feel really really mm, bittersweet with charlotte because she has been doing really good at being very inclusive with her lunches from lipsticks and other products, but this right here, just one palette, this is not a universal palette. We really need to see, you know, one or two more, mostly when we're talking about, I mean like in general, but when we're talking about contouring and bronzing, yeah, but nonetheless, if you wanna see full review, a ton of comparisons on any of these products right here, the Pat McGrath, the Nude Gossam palette and the Super Nudes collection, please check my video. And from this palette right here, I'm using today the shade over here. In fact, let me just tell you really good what I got. I first went with my base, which is this new Chanel. This is the Le Beige Healthy Glow Bronzing Cream. Now this is the deeper shade, not the lighter shade. And then I went ahead and set it with this right here. And you know what? I forgot to put highlighter today. What a shame. So let's go for a little bit of highlighter here. So pretty. I mean, you can use it very like intense or just dab a little bit. And there you go, so beautiful, so beautiful. And the lipsticks, I got all the matte lipsticks right here. Oh my gosh, these were so needed on her collection. I wish she could have done the other packaging with the little rhinestones because I'm just so in love with that. I mean, like it looks so feminine. This packaging is beautiful too. So, oh, the first one, sorry, I didn't tell you. The first one that I was showing you is Supermodel. Again, I don't wanna take a ton of the time right here because I do have dedicated review with swatches, comparisons and whatnot. Supermodel, I think this is my favorite one. Such a good, good shade. And I was saying that this is something very needed on her collection because I feel that a lot of her lipsticks are very, either very peachy in tone or very pink in tone. This one right here, by the way, is Cover Star. And these ones right here are more nude in tone. There's one that has a little bit of more pink in it, but in general, Compared to her other lipsticks, these are more neutral side, just more nude in general. And this one right here is called Cut Walking. This one too. I love this one right here. So, so good. So beautiful. With this collection, she also launched another duo eyeliner. And I had it right here. I, in fact, I was thinking that it was a re-promote. It was the black one with the pearlized tone that I already have in my collection. 
and then I realized no it's a brown one with a nude and this is perfect in fact I'm using the brown shade on my waterline today and don't worry I will be mentioning along the way what I have on if it's something new from this haul right here and then this eye palette it's all matte shades the formula is not super matte it's more of like a demi matte borderline satin but without a lot of sheen this formulation is just gorgeous I think it's very flattering if you have a lot of fine lines on your eyelids like I do this is very this formulation honestly is very very flattering I went ahead and pick up some Valentino Beauty if you want to see a full review again I have it already up on my channel I pick up one of his lipsticks in soft sienna gorgeous color mostly if you like those peachy tones this is stunning the shade is very very pretty now is the formulation super super impressive not really and the packaging they could have done better <laughs> for sure but i mean again i don't want to give too much of my review just go ahead and watch it but i pick up these products from nordstrom and right now they have pretty much the entire line because i saw they have the eyeshadow palettes now they do have the brow products they do have um, the brow gel too and I have here that foundation too that it comes in so many shades which I really appreciate I really love when brands are inclusive <coughs> Charlotte and <laughs> Darling uh, and they well I shouldn't blame on Charlotte so much because let's be real Charlotte Tilbury for her shade range on her foundations she have an amazing shade range I mean she does have a shade range I don't know what happened on this palette right here but on the rest, I mean, we have to give, you know, credit. But anyhow, Valentino, they have an amazing shade range for their foundation. Also, they have really beautiful shades for the blushes. I still want to pick up the bronzer. I think that's, out of everything, this formula right here, so, so good. The packaging, eh, yeah, that's another story right there. But this is the shade that I got, which is called number six. Call me coral, so pretty, so pretty. And then I also pick up because the eyeshadows were not available at the time where I did my haul. I got a eyeshadow glitter from Valentino Beauty. <laughs> you have to see my review; it's a lot of fun. And also, it was a full-on day wear test, so you are able to see, uh, you know, like more than eight hours for the foundation, the blush, everything. So it, it's a good one. Okay, friends, moving on right here to Suku. And these beauties right here, I actually received them on PR. Thank you so much to the team at Suku for sending these over to me. This is their fall collection. Not the entire fall collection, but part of the fall collection. I'm just so beyond grateful to Suku. Thank you once again. And thank you to you guys, my subscribers, because if it wasn't for you guys, I wouldn't be receiving absolutely anything. They sent me the signature eyeshadow palette in 107. So the fall collection comes with two eyeshadow palettes. And oh my gosh, this is stunning. You know, guys, I love purples. I love lilac. I love eggplant tones. I mean, these shades right here, they look so beautiful with green, hazel eyes, brown eyes, um, you know, deep, dark eyes. They just look so beautiful. And I think the collection was so well curated, so well done. The only thing with Suku is that their products sell so, so fast, so, so fast. So this is the palette that I'm using today. I basically what I did is I put all over my crease this muted coral tone above my crease. Then I deepen out a little bit my outer third with this shade right here. Then on the outer third, on the very tip, I deepen it out even more with this shade. And then in the center, well, inner portion all the way to the middle of the eyelid, I use this gorgeous topper right here. This is such a beautiful shade, lilac in tone, very delicate. I mean, this palette is just stunning. And this is the thing with Suku. Their color stories on each of their collections are one after the other, like, wow. And then they send me one of their single eyeshadows from this collection, 107. And this one right here, I put it right on the center of my eye. I know. <laughs> Drooling for this. Drooling. This is so stunning. Stunning. And look at the cute little packaging. I love the presentation from Suku. It's just so, so stunning. Let me show you these right here. Look at that. Look at that. 
Oh, oh, this is for, I mean, like, this is a shade for all year round. Now, this doesn't have chunky glitters. It's so creamy, so smooth. Let me show you. Oh. <laughs> just a pleasure to even swatch so good and then this collection came out with two blushes these are called the pure color blush and they sent me 129 Fuyu Kodashi I'm sorry if I'm butchering the name but okay there you go is the shade again 129 packaging so pristine delicate I love you see how thin slim it is it's not super heavy weighted, but it does feel luxurious. Pay attention, <clears throat> Valentino. <laughs> Sorry, guys. <laughs> Sorry. Anyhow, this is a beauty right here, and that's the blush that I'm using right now. Yeah, this is the blush that I'm using. So gorgeous. This is your everyday blush. This blush will go excellent. So well with any, any, any makeup that you want. I'm like, and this is the beauty of all these blushes. You have three different shades to work with or you can just swish your brush around and this formulation is so pretty because it's more of like a velvet matte so pretty and then oh my gosh Suku just launched their new sheer matte lipsticks ah and they sent me two of them they come in this little unicar now the interesting thing about these lipsticks is that you buy the lipstick and then you buy your cup separately so that's something that you want to note about and then your lipstick comes with a little let me just show you one of them so I have here the shade 102, which is the one that I'm wearing right now. So this is the way that you will receive it, like this. And then on top, it has a little plastic cup to protect it. And obviously, so it doesn't dry and all of that. And look at this shade. It's the one that I'm using right now. Mm, so pretty. I love that it's a not so strong terracotta tone. It has... I mean the right amount of terracotta in it, the right amount of brown in it and because of the type of formulation it's just so pretty. To me they don't feel like it's a sheer matte. They are not a velvet matte but rather a creamy matte. It's just, it's, I mean it doesn't have a lot of shine to them like a satin lipstick but it's not like, you know, it's not matte matte. Does it make sense? To me, it's more like a creamy matte shade. And then the cap comes separately. Love the cap. Look at that. So pretty. Love the top. And then, yeah, just put it on and then you can save your cap. And then they send me another shade, which is 101. And oh my goodness, this shade right here is stunning. If you're looking for the most beautiful beige lipstick, Go for this one. Now, these ones are not limited edition like the fall collection. These are new on their line, so you're gonna be able to purchase it pretty much at any time. I will make sure, again, I will be leaving all the details on the description box below where to find it and whatnot. But yeah, this is the shade 101. This shade, wow, if it's a stunning. I'm so happy and so, so grateful with Suku, Suku team, Jorge, who is the makeup artist, for Suku, thank you so, so much for this. I mean, your generosity, goodness me, it touches my heart. Moving on right here for another PR item from St. Jane, and they sent me the Idea Duo Minis, and it comes with two serums. One of them is the Sea Drops. There you go, the white one. The packaging is so beautiful. And then in the black one, we have the Luxury Beauty Serum. Oh my gosh, I cannot wait to try them. And then St. Jane, they also had come out with a luxury lip shine. You know guys how much I love lip glosses, lip shines. <gasps> this shade is stunning. This is a shade Belize. Oh my goodness me. <gasps> oh, I need to. I just need to put it on. This is kind of like that perfect milky pinky shade. Just a little bit on top. Mm, so beautiful. I I love some good lip gloss and lip shines. This feels so good too. It has a little like a specks of like 
luminosity it's not glitter but it just gives the perfect shine right there oh my gosh thank you so much saint jane for sending this order to me i greatly greatly appreciate it and then moving on right here for some items that i have purchased from chanel i got another jus contrast powder blush in the shade 64 pink explosion now these are right here is very this is the old formulation now if you ask me what's the difference between the old and the new I actually like both formulas. I think the main reason why many of us, we were like a little bit like, mm, what happened, why another new formulation is because now the new shades, they are not exactly the same as the, you know, the older versions. They change a little bit. They have a little bit more pink in them. They are, they are not the same shade. So now it's a little bit of like, okay, rediscovering, you know, the, the shades from Chanel. So anyhow, but this one, I didn't pick it up at Chanel's boutique or website. I pick it up from a retailer. I don't remember, but it's the old version. So I will make sure to put it on the description box below. But yeah, I, I was so happy. I was able to get my hands on this baby. Isn't this beautiful? Pink explosion, a total explosion right there. I'm so up for pinky shades now. Last year and part of this year, it was a lot of coral for me, but right now I'm feeling the mood of like, give me some pink shades, give me some pink shades. Super excited about it. And then, you know guys, I paint my nails at home, so I went ahead and pick up a Christian Louboutin nail polish, and this is the one that I'm using right now. It's called Tutu. Yeah, Tutu, yeah. So. This is the shade that I'm wearing right now. And I mean, like the packaging is just so extra, so like luxurious and I'm here. I really, I'm like, I know they want it to be extra, but this part to me, it at the beginning it was hard to like maneuver the whole thing because it's not heavy, but it's just so big. <laughs> yeah, it is so big. So anyhow, friends, I love this shade. And you know what? I'm really impressed about the quality of this nail polish because it has lasted for a long time i mean like i the only time that i change it is to um try the next nail polish that i also haul this is from dior and their fall collection but yeah this shade lasted for so long and it's just so so pretty and this other shade that i'm going to talk about is again from dior their fall collection and this is in the shade early bird 812 if i find a clip i will make sure to insert it right here but this is gorgeous it's so so beautiful it has a chief between a lilac tone i was oh i was wearing this on my video playful lips and bold brows if you haven't watched it please go ahead and watch it this is such a beautiful nail polish and it's such a unique shade i usually do not like too much of like you know dual chrome and multi-chrome for my you know nails but this one right here super super beautiful and then i was in the mood for more dior not that i need to because dior oh my gosh there's so much from Dior, but I pick up their new blush. This one is the shade 332 Autumn Mood. So this is not part of a new collection. This is actually a new addition to their blushes. And this shade is gorgeous too. Look at this terracotta shade. It has a little bit more yellow in it. It kind of reminds me a little bit of the Hermes lipstick. Uh, you know that mess shade okay I like it I think it's fun it's different I know Dior is coming out with a limited edition like every year but I had to have this one right here it's so pretty so beautiful so yes it's now available and again this is not going to be like limited edition this is autumn mood and I'm not ready for autumn I'm not ready for fall but the shade conquer my heart I placed an order with Sephora and I ended up getting that new Jouer Bloom Bronze and Glow Bronzer Highlighter Duo. I got it in the shade Sunrise and Rose Quartz. By the way, let me know if you want to see reviews or a try on haul with any of these products. Mention them on the comment section down below. It helps me quite a bit to know what you're interested on, you know, like seeing on, in action. So this right here is the bronzer, sunrise. I don't know if that's too light for my skin tone though. Hmm. 
and then the other side is rose quartz and I think this is the medium shade because they come in three different shades let me see Ooh, I think this is too light for me I can barely see it right there but well it may be a little bit different when trying it on the face but I will see I will see I'm just super curious I love Jue dual blushes the bronzers they actually I think it's one of the most underrated brands so I'm super excited to give it a go then I picked up another Tom Ford lipstick and this is in the shade 31 twist of fate now this right here is not new but when I was in Florida the last day yeah the, well the day before I you know moved back to California I was in Lincoln Road at the Sephora in there and I remember walking in and I'm like I shouldn't be buying anything because I'm leaving and I there, you know we were taking so many things we were doing a coast to coast move crazy right and I just took a picture of this because it really stole my heart and then I was looking on my phone through my photos and I remember these and I'm like oh let me pick it up so I went ahead and placed an order this is the shade I think it's a gorgeous kind of like pinky coral tone that still has a little bit of just a tiny bit of peach in it so I'm all like you know what I'm always up for a good tone for a lipstick and then I pick up another Pat McGrath lipstick now this lipstick right here I had it once upon a time I lost it and then I had been trying to get my hands on it from Sephora and they they canceled my order twice because they said that they didn't have it available and finally anyhow they were able to send it to me finally i was like oh yes and this is in the shade obsessed look at this red with an orange undertone isn't it this stunning i'm obsessed with this shade right here it's so so gorgeous i in fact did uh, i think a week and a half or two weeks ago my top five orange lipsticks i wish i could have have this one right there because although this is not like super orange it's a red with an orange undertone. These would have made the cut right there. But anyhow, I'm so happy that finally I get it back on my collection because I felt so bummed when I lost. I honestly don't know if I even lost it. When I was moving from California to Florida, I need to make a declutter video because I have decluttered a lot of things, but I need to reorganize other things. My doors kind of like cheat the move and sometimes products they go under some of the doors and then I find them out of nowhere. Anyhow, I feel that I needed to get it back so I decided to pick it up. And then George Armani has come out with new lipsticks. These are the Lip Power. They are long wear vivid color lipsticks and there are many, many shades. I got in the shade 502 Desire. Oh, love the packaging good for your money right there and love this kind of like teardrop shade this is a total knee nude shade like everyday shade it's a little bit on the pinky side with yeah it's more pinky than anything but it's a nudie shade and i'm like yes please i love your girl money and then more lipsticks right here i picked up from ysl another lipstick this is one of their pure color satin radiance lipsticks in 556 transgression love ysl the packaging i die for these packages this looks so luxurious and pretty this shade right here is also stunning, 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 lovely shade. It's, again, it's a little bit more of like a deeper pinky nude shade. I think perfect for every day during fall and winter time too. And then from Sephora, I picked up a Tom Ford Soleil Brulan Eau de Parfum. And this is in the travel version. You know, guys, I do have my big one, but I wanted a travel one. This is one of the fragrances that I have been nonstop using during summertime. Since the day you came, I'm in love with it and look how pretty this looks mm. oh my gosh this is such a gorgeous fragrance it has a little bit of that warm thread sophisticated so beautiful so i had to get one on the go to put it in my bag because yeah i, ha I have to put it in my bag and then i picked up i already told you guys a gucci flora gorgeous gardenia this is the new fragrance from gucci 
and I have to say that this one says that it has some brown sugar in it but I don't find anything gourmand about it it's still a floral kind of scent with that white gardenia in it it has pear which makes it a little bit more vibrant a little bit more like morning time a little bit more of an awakening fragrance really beautiful it doesn't last a lot of me more than four to five hours but it's a very pretty fragrance if you want a very you know sometimes to give a present to somebody is a little bit hard because you don't know what they like with this i think a lot of people will like this type of fragrance because it's very fresh it's not offensive it's just very very pretty if you're going to an outdoor wedding i will highly suggest you know this is a really good fragrance if you're going to be a guest at a wedding and if, mostly if it's an outdoor wedding or a morning wedding or if you're going to a brunch, this is that type of fragrance. Now, I picked up this La Mer set. This is also from Sephora. I was signing this on the spring Sephora VIB sale, but it never came back in stock. So I went ahead and picked it up as soon as I saw it coming back in stock because I think it's up a really good deal. You get two of the moisturizing soft cream. This is something that I have been using for years. And I don't know why, but lately I have been having a lot of breakouts. I don't know if it's because, you know, the changes, kids went back to school, you know, there's so many changes in life and sometimes your skin just reacts. But anyhow, I think this is an excellent value and I had one of my $100 reward. So I went ahead and applied it and that was more than the 20% off that I will get, you know, I'm a Rouge member at Sephora. So this is it. So both of them are the soft cream, but again, the value is really good. And then with that $100, I'm like, great. And I love the case to it. I mean, the case I can use it for other things as well. So I'm super happy about that. Then I went ahead and picked up from nude sticks the new blush from alana davison i was just so excited to get it this one is picante and oh my gosh when you see it and i'm just so excited to use it ah this looks stunning i mean when she demoed it i was like wow that looks amazing amazing and i love new sticks i think i don't talk too much about new sticks here but i do have a full-on collection when i do my declutter video you see i do have a full-on collection of new sticks the products are so good the blushes the bronzers the highlighters i mean they do such an amazing job and then from another influencer from jamie beef i went ahead and pick up one of her blushes in pesca this i bought it at cold beauty look at this i mean this is such a gorgeous shade you know your peachy shade never goes out of a style it looks so pretty and i like her packaging i really enjoy her eyeshadow palette is beautiful i did a review last year of it and i do love her lipsticks too i mean she have a very solid line so i'm like okay let me just place another order i was very curious and dying to get it and then from unta i went ahead and pick up this new nars basic instincts cheek quad now this right here it comes in two different versions i went ahead and pick up what it will be quote unquote the deeper version so it comes like this is a quad and then you get here the torrid then you get exhibit a Ash mahal and sabash now i don't have I have Torrid in a single, but I don't have Exhibit 8 or Taj Mahal, and those are ones that I have been meaning to buy. So when I saw that they were coming out with this quad, I'm like, wow, this is great. I wish that they will do the same thing for their highlighters, because there's a few highlighters from NARS that I have been meaning to get, but if I can get them like this in quads, hey, that would be amazing, or even if it's a duo. That would be awesome. And then from M Cosmetics, I decided to pick up two blushes. I love M Cosmetics blushes. And when I see them coming with these stick blushes, I was like, oh yeah, I want them. And this one right here is in Passion, a terracotta shade. Again, fall is coming, so I think this is so appropriate. And then I decided to pick up a pinky tone too. And this one right here is in the shade Lychee. Yeah, and this is more like a baby pink, a very soft, soft pink. Oh, I feel that they look so pretty. They also came out with some 
contour bronzers but from what I have heard of and for what I'm you know seeing online is they look more like contour products so I decided to pass on them but I'm excited to have pick up these two right here I'm super excited to try them too and moving over here for a big heavy package this is from Fat Feet Fan you know guys I have done unboxings on my Fat Feet Fans before many 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 was let me put this on for a second yeah but i have been subscribed to fat fit fan for this is my third year now and they actually reached out to me and asked me if i wanted to become an ambassador and this video is not sponsored by them um a partner with fat fit fan that i just want to tell you that i received the box but it's not a sponsor video or anything like that so i have actually in fact two boxes the one from my membership i have an annual membership which i think is the best deal also the beautiful thing about this kind of subscription box is very different to other ones on this one you get to select so if you're an annual member you get to select pretty much i think every single thing on your box yeah, I think it's pretty much every single thing. Anyhow, I will be putting the details on the description box below. But if you decide for a seasonal membership, because Fafi Fan is also a seasonal box, so you receive it spring, summer, fall, and winter, then you have you can select certain items in certain areas and then some of them are surprises but most of that you get to select it and that's the beauty about it so like i said i have been subscribed to fat Free fan for this is again my third or fourth year i don't even remember so when they told me do you want to be a partner with us it's like it makes total sense because i mean i love it i pay my annual membership and i'm super happy about it so let me show you what i got in my fat fit fan box and by the way they gave me a ten dollars off for your first box i will be leaving it right here on the screen and on the description box below for your convenience and i want to show you the things that i got on the box that they sent me so the first thing that i got right here is from uncommon james and this is a beauty about this box too, that not everything is makeup, not everything is just beauty related, but there's a lot of like home, health, wealth, you know, there's, there's a variety of things and every box goes with the season. And I mean, right now I live very near to the wine country and we are approaching the season for harvest and what else goes best with wine but a cheese board so this is the cheese board from uncommon james really nice wood i mean like beautiful with the two handles also on the other side there's nothing so if you don't want to you know show the engraving you can use it from the other side i think it's very pretty and always always good to have you know or even if you want to give it as a hostess gift I think it's really good. Talking about kitchen, I my kitchen is pretty much white and then every accent, not every, but most of the accents that I have are copper. I love copper and I already have some of these canisters. Mine, they have a copper top. So when they sent me these ones right here, I'm like, oh my goodness, yes, please. And in fact, they came two. A big one and a small one. Believe me, I have a huge collection of these canisters. They are perfect. I, I love herbal teas. I usually put my herbs in there. I also put pasta in it. I mean, like, these are always perfect to storage and also display. I think they are just so pretty. Now, my third item is this food drink after drink. This is a trivia game. I love trivia games. I think they are so much fun to entertain your guests with your kids too, I mean with your husband, I think they are just so so much fun. Then in my box also came from the two bandits, this is kind of like a, like a catcher tray that actually opens up like this, this part right here is made out of felt. Now to be honest with you, this is, I mean like this is not like the most me type of a style but i think you know for a teenager you know to put their stuff right, right here is really nice and then on this box i also got this belt bag by amanda up richard and you know this right here is very trendy but i really like that it's a belt bag because i when when i go with my kids to say i don't know to disneyland legoland disney world whatever you know i usually get a belt bag and that's how i carry my things and i think this is stylish it's different it's you know like we have seen this right here these little blocks they are all in trend 
you know, it's adjustable too. So I'm super excited for these. Now this is not leather. It's more leather-like, but yeah, I think, you know, it does the trick. It has another compartment right here. And it does have another compartment inside. It has another little zipper. So I think this is great and I can get really great use out of it. And then another thing that I select too is the boot socks I fry. And these are a bamboo blend. I wish you could touch them and feel them. These are so soft and perfect for the upcoming season. Here in my area, it doesn't really snow, but rains quite a bit. And I get really, really cold. And these, they just feel like silk i mean i love bamboo this is such a good one and then the last two items on my box are these bath gel capri peach champagne fragrance which is kind of like a peach bellini mm, smells so good and then the last product is this lunch pack isn't it so cute <laughs> it is so cute so it's reusable this is great so thank you so much for fat fit fan for sending this box to me again i have another box right here my stuff but i don't want to make this video too long perhaps let me show you one thing that i got that i think i'm i was super excited to get it actually this enamel mini dutch oven pot oh my god i i just love it it reminds me honestly to italy and it's just so pretty and this is by the brand golden rabbit it has a stainless steel rim it is durable, lightweight, carbon steel interior, non-stick fused porcelain finish. I'm just super excited <laughs> about it. It's so cute. Oh, okay. Well, my friends, everything went from beauty to cookware and whatnot. Don't forget about Fat Fit Fan for your first box. You receive a $10 off with my code that I will be leaving on the description box below along with the link and all the links for the rest. And once again, if you shop through my links, I want to say thank you so much because that's the way that you support my channel and how I keep going right here to bring you reviews and whatnot. So I'm very, very appreciative of that. And yes, my friends, this makes it for this haul video. Once again, a big thank you to Suku team also to St. Jane and Farfi Fan. Thank you to you guys for watching. I would love to know from you if you have tried any of these products. Let's continue the conversation on the comment section down below. And while you're at it, and if you haven't done so yet, I hope that you can give me that opportunity and subscribe to my channel. Make sure you ring the post notification bell so you don't miss any of my uploads. And come and follow me on my Instagram. If you like this video, do not forget to give it a thumbs up. Also, share with family and friends. And until the next time, I hope you have a beautiful, wonderful day. Bye-bye.